Hello and welcome to Golang tutorial for beginners. My name is Gunesh Shanbhag and in today's video I'll be showing you how to use first class functions in Golang. So what are first class functions? So according so, to the Mozilla web documentation, a programming language is said to have a first class functions when functions in that language are treated like any other variable. For example, in such a language, a function can be passed as an argument to other functions and can be written by another function and can be assigned as a value to a variable. So these are the three things, three features of first class functions. So the first one is a function can be passed as an argument to other functions. Second one is it can be written by another function. And the third one is function can be assigned as a value to a variable. So let's start with a simple example where we can uh, assign a function to a variable. So I will create one uh, variable called first colon equal to will not give a function name because it is an anonymous function which means this function will not have a name. So we will just call func keyword then open close parenthesis then curly braces and then we can just print or whatever we want to print or we can give the uh, function body and here you can print inside the anonymous function okay and now how we can call this function is we just have to use this variable first and we can just use open close parenthesis just to call this function if you want to print the type of this function you can just use fmt dot printf inside here we can just use inverted commas inside that we can just put percent t which means it will just print the type of this function and we can pass first here so this is the variable so we we'll just go ahead and clear this console and we'll run our program again and now you can see that it is printing inside the function anonymous function and it is printing the type of the function that is func so this is how we can assign a function to a variable now next example i will show you is you can just pass arguments to this anonymous function so let me show you how to do that so what we'll do here is, uh, instead of calling this variable separately we we'll just remove this variable and now we'll just remove this variable also and now our program will be func and since we didn't call this function we will just use open close parenthesis after this curly braces so what this will do this will execute this function anonymous function without you needing to give the variable so we got to go ahead and run this it will still print inside the anonymous function because it doesn't need a variable to assign to and you can just pass any variable or any value here so i'll just want to pass a string and we have to give that here also so we'll just say str string and if you go ahead and run this it will print inside the anonymous function and we didn't include that string in here so we'll type it out fast so if you go ahead and run this it will print inside the anonymous function and hello there so this is how we can pass strings to anonymous function one more thing is that there are different user defined data function types like we already i have already shown you in structures that we can create our user defined structs in the same way we can create user defined function types so let me show you so let me comment this out so let me create a user defined function type so we have to use the keyword type then we have to give the function data type you want to you want to use so we'll name our user defined function type as add and now you have to give the signature of this function so what this function will do so this function will take two input and it will return one output so we'll type func so this is a keyword and inside this we'll give 
a int comma b int which means it will take two input that is two integers as input and it will return one integer as output now let's see how to use this user defined function type add in our code so what we'll do is we'll create a variable or where and the name of that where would be a and we'll say it will be having a function type of add which will be equal to we have to give the function we want to we want to create so we'll just say a comma b int and this will return the integer and in here you can see you can just return a plus b and we can create a variable called yes for example colon equal to it will be of type we'll call the freshly created a here so we'll call this variable a and inside this we'll pass the value which you want to add so for example you want to add 50 comma 5 and then we can just go ahead and print this We'll just print sum comma yes if you go ahead and run this let me clear the console it prints sum as 55 so let me show you what happens here so we are creating a variable a of type add and the function signature matches with the function signature of the function type we created earlier so whenever we pass the input as 50 comma 5 as two input integers to this a it will go inside this function and it will return a plus b and that we are saving in the variable s and we are just printing it out so this is how you can create a user defined function type now let me show you how you can create higher order functions a higher order function is a function which takes one or more functions as arguments and another thing is it returns a function as result so let me show you how we can pass a function as argument to other functions so we'll just comment this out quickly and in here what we'll do is we'll just comment this also we'll create a variable f colon equal to it will be anonymous function so we'll just create func inside the parenthesis we'll give a comma b int and then it will return integer now inside the function body what we'll do is we'll just return a plus b like the way we did earlier and what we want to do is we'll call a function simple and we'll pass that variable f to this function so we have to write the simple functions definition here so we'll create a func simple inside this we'll pass the function so we have to give a variable name for this function so we'll give a as the variable name then we have to give the func that is the signature of this function so a comma b int and it will return the integer so whatever you are passing as f it should match so this should match with whatever we are passing inside this function and we have given a variable a we call it an anonymous function and while we are using inside this uh, simple function we can use a to get the values inside the we will call the a function and inside that we will pass 50 comma 5 so if you go ahead and run this it will print 55 
So what happens here is we are we are creating an anonymous function which will add two variables a and b, and we are passing that to a we are assigning this function to a variable f, and we are passing this variable f to a function called simple. Inside this function, we are matching the uh, function signature with that of the anonymous function f, and we are creating a variable a to use this function. So we'll call this function a. And inside that, we'll pass the two variables, 50 and 5. So now let me show you how we can return functions from this simple function. So before that, I'll just copy this, and because we wanna co comment this out, I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Okay. So what we wanna do is. We will take this, since we are returning functions from other function, we will copy this function, it is anonymous function or we will cut this out and we will paste it this inside this simple function. Okay, so the function anonymous function f is inside the simple function and what we are going to do is we will just return this anonymous function from this simple function and let me remove this okay and now in the main function what we have to do is we have to create a variable so we will create s colon equal to and we will call the simple function here okay and now we will just use that s variable to pass 50 and 5 to this simple function. So whenever the simple function will get those values in the form of the anonymous function, it will execute and it will return the anonymous function. And accordingly we have to change the signature of this simple function. So this function signature simple will have Earlier we had the input as a anonymous function. Now we are returning function as output. So we'll just remove this and we'll make this function as the return type. So we'll remove a also. So all this is a function, anonymous function, which we are passing to the main function. And there are no arguments to the simple function. We just gives that returns the anonymous function so this is how return this is how you return functions from other function so let me go ahead and run this quickly and now you can see it is printing 55 again the same way as earlier so we have seen anonymous function in this video along with that we have seen user defined function type then we saw how to pass functions to other function then we saw how to return functions from other function so that's all guys thank you for watching i will see you in the next video